And on the lighter side of the news, we have a story about a local dog that could give Spuds McKenzie a run for his money. Our Kurt Rivera tells us about a birthday bash for Jack the Dog. The occasion was Jack's seventh birthday. I think it's going to be a uh, pretty good party here. Well, everybody's getting excited. So the owners, the dogs, and the dogs all waiting for Jack to arrive. A large crowd had already gathered outside Jack's mobile home, with many of them being Jack's close personal friends. I just got word Jack's on his way. He should be here shortly. And then, a few moments later, Jack the dog had arrived. <laughs> In celebration of his lucky seventh, Jack was treated to song, to a round of musical dog chairs, to a wide array of cards and presents, and of course to a traditional happy birthday dog food cake. At this point, you may be wondering, what does Jack have that other dogs don't? That's something we both enjoy. We like to do this. Uh, we don't have any kids. He's our kid. And uh, a lot of people say, well, we haven't even done this for our own kids. We say, well, we enjoy doing this. It's something different. And he's the only dog that allows us to put glasses and doobie bobbers. And so for Jack the dog, there have been no movie offers, no mention of any canine commercials or of any special guest appearances. But in the words of Jack's owner, canine celebrities, Beware. Spud McKenzie, watch out. Jack's on the path. In Cathedral City, Kirk Rivera for KESQ TV News. <laughs> Reminds me of the birthday party we had Saturday night for our director, Brad Shapiro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> at least we were invited to that one. That's huh? true. That's oh, true. Wait. Good story. <laughs> Very Come on board. You have another contestant on the present. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't open the present so people can see what it is. Come on. <laughs> That's not ladylike. Nothing to eat about baby. It's Jack's idea to make new friends and uh, oh. next no longer petless. No, no, right. no longer petless. It's Jack's idea to ward out the petless. Yeah, all right. Okay, the next I want to introduce uh, again. Cats are up. You see it, please. Keep, keep them away from the cat. Cats are in the air. Yeah. Oh, oh. Down, Jack. Down. I don't hear any sound. There. One thing about these cats, they don't take any uh, food, no water. Easy. Oh, man, juggling cats, I never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, oh, wait a second. Yeah, he's up. Up. I think they can land on their feet. Jack, what do you think? <laughs> when, when we asked Gary to juggle some cats, uh, the neighbors were really pretty worried. <laughs> and uh, he came one day and he showed me and he says, I got the perfect thing. It's called, it's got a can, it's called Cat Set. So, oh no, oh no, what's going on? Oh, no, I can't believe it. You're under arrest. Cat abuse. He made me do it. You have the right to remain the So <laughs> 
Uh, Dennis, what do you think about this here today? Oh, I love it. The way I do this every year, and it's uh, it's always been, had a good turnout. We've always had a lot of fun. Jack loves it. Uh, and uh, what was your uh, what was your favorite part about today's uh, seeing today's Jack's birthday? Today, oh, the limo I think was probably the the highlight. You know, he doesn't uh, doesn't usually get that treatment, but you know, he deserves it. Why do you think Jack is such a special dog? I don't know. Everywhere they've gone, Jack's always been uh, been sort of their trademark. You know, they, people can know, not even know them, but they know who Jack is. And uh, I don't know. It's just uh, he has a way with people. What's different about Jack? What about the? Uh, let me afraid I might use a question. So let me see. Uh, uh, what makes Jack so much different than any other dog? Oh, I don't know. It's. Uh, 
it's <laughs> he's just so lovable, I guess, you know, always uh, always there, always does what he's supposed to, as long as there's treats involved. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. All right, all right. Now stay. Don't, don't move your head. All right. All right. I guess the first question. I'm going to ask some general questions, and then we'll get into the party uh, part of it. Now, how uh, how did it come about? How did you get a hold of Jack? What's the story? Well, uh, my best friend in Oregon, she had to get rid of her dog, Jack. Her father uh, said they couldn't keep him any longer. And um, we just couldn't see that Jack go to a pound because we had had a sister who was stolen. So we went ahead and t took him. And uh, this has been the best, best dog we've ever had. So we basically took the dog and we trained him to uh, work livestock in Oregon. And uh, at that time I was managing a ranch and, and uh, we worked livestock cattle on a big ranch. And at the time, four years ago, we moved down here. He's now an uh, obedient dog, and uh, he, we've used him for guard, guard duty. I guess one of the big questions is, what makes Jack such a special dog? Well, for that, you can have to ask all his fans. But as far as for us, um, he he's the only dog that allows us to put glasses and dilly bobbers, and everyone just seems to love him. And uh, I don't know, he's got he's got that animal magnetism. How did you come up with the party today? Now you've had it before. How did it? How did it come about the first? Time? This party was a, a great success. How we first started this thing, we said, "Hey, let's. Uh, how about if we have a, a party for the dog?" And it was kind of a wild idea. We thought, "Well, yeah, we'll give it a shot." So we did the first year. We had 40 some people. We had eight dogs. Uh, it was it was a big success. So we tried again this year. This year we had about 100 people, and we had about 13, 14 dogs. It worked great. Everyone had a lot of fun, I think. We also had people asking about his party back in November. His actual birthday is January 1st, but most of his friends are really party animals and they're just hungover and we figured we'll give them some time to, to recuperate from the holidays and have the party now, but we, we could not, not have it. Everyone just loves it so much and it's a great fun. How did you come up uh, with some of the ideas behind uh, uh, Jack's birthday party? Well, um, thanks to a lot of my crazy relatives and myself and Ken, I guess, uh, well, my mentor is um, Weird Al Yankovic, and uh, I've been writing weird songs, and it just was fitting a way to sing some of the weird songs, and uh, with the help of a lot of my relatives and their their crazy ideas, too, we just, it's been something on the sideline. Your, your mind just can't shut off, and you think, well, what can I do with a dog? All right, a limousine, a big party. Where does Jack go to now? Well, I don't know. I was talking earlier with my cousin, Dennis, and I was saying, you know, we should have next year more of like a star search, like uh, Ed McMahon has, and have some uh, really qualified talent that wants to do something for Jack and just come, and who knows, the talent scouts might come out here and be a part of it, and I know uh, that it's just every year is going to grow. That's something we both enjoy. We like to do this. Uh, we don't have any kids. He's our kid. And uh, a lot of people say, well, we haven't even done this for our own kids. We say, well, we enjoy doing this. It's something different. We like doing something different. Hold on a sec. Don't move. Let's see if you guys can find it. Sure. Great. All right. Uh, all right. As for Jack, has he gotten any movie offers, any commercials, any sort of thing like that? Well, after, t after uh, this airs, uh, we'll see. Um, as far as uh, they can call in, in this uh, care of the radio station if they have any offers, and they'll put back to us, and I don't know, it's like Spud McKenzie, watch out, Jack's on the path. Uh, Jack is a dog that uh, he's uh, very obedient, he follows orders, uh, and he just he enjoys having fun. And food. And, eating. and food, he, he likes food. to eat. He loves food. <laughs> Jack seems like a down-to-earth type of dog. Uh, what effect would movie offers and contracts, that sort of thing, have on him if it did happen? Would you want that? Well, I don't think anything is going to affect him unless uh, it's dealing with food. That's it would the contract would have to depend on how many milky bones he would get, you know, as, per day. As long as there's treats involved, he'll, he's interested. The uh, money he has no interest in, only treats. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing, let me tell you. It's ho Halloween every day, trick or treats for Jack. Great. Uh, let's see. Anything else that you want to add that I might have not asked the question about? Well, I just wanted to, to thank
thank everyone that made Jack's party possible. It's not just by us. We have a lot of uh, different relatives and friends that made this possible and all the people that attended with the dog because without them and uh, their their fanship, I guess you could say, for Jack, we wouldn't be possible to have this. And also for Jack, because without him, there, we wouldn't be here celebrating his birthday. Next year, an even bigger and better party? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. maybe we'll be at the Desert Springs next year. You never, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on there. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, but open, the, the, on the cover, for the cover. And then, and then go ahead and turn it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So for Jack the Dog, there have been no movie offers, no mention of any canine commercials, or of any special guest appearances. But three, two, one. Oh, wait. You know, hold on. Oh, wait. Hold on, Jack. Well, we'll be done. I'm sorry. Sit. 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 Or of any special guest appearances. Could you get a little bowl of water for us, please? Sit. So for Jack the Dog, there have been no movie offers, no mention of any canine commercials, or of any special guest appearances. But in the words of Jack's owner, canine celebrities, beware. And don't move around either. Right. Testing one, two. Are we on? Yes, we All right. Um, no. Don't move your head around. Either. All right, Paul, what is your name? Gherkin. All right. A capital G-E-R-K-I-N. Hi, right, Paul, you saw what happened to the ear today. What do you think about it? Well, I thought it was really neat how uh, some people could love a, a dog as much as uh, somebody would love their kids, because Ken and Lori don't have any children yet, so their dog is like their kid. What do you think about the party given to uh, Jack? The party, I was really impressed because we walked in here, you know, we actually we drove in here, and we thought, you know, that can't be a birthday party for a dog. And, of course, it was. And uh, we think Jack is a very, uh, has possibilities of making it to Hollywood. We really do think so. Hold on. Don't move. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. I guess my final question, what makes that, what, in your words, what do you think Jack is? Why do you think he makes such a special dog of himself? Well, I, I don't know. He just uh, seems to, um, I don't know, has quite a personality all of his own. What, what type of personality? Well, uh, he's kind of moody. Sometimes he jumps up and wants to, to uh, have me for dinner, and then other times he, he knows I'm there and I'm his friend, friends with his parents, you know. He's got good parents. So after I air this, do you think he'll remember you? You think that he will remember you after this party, or do you think he'll, uh, he'll turn his head when he walks by you next time? I think he'll remember me. Uh, he's a down-to-earth dog. I think so. 